So we're about to board to go to the Cayman Islands to meet with clients, to get with A.L. Thompson and put our new distribution agreement together. And since they're going to be our first distributor ever in the islands, it's a real historical, awesome moment for us as as business partners and, and just as guys working our butts off to make it in life. We've got some pricing, some product information to give them, and we're going to look at uh, the floor plan of the showroom they have to put a display, as well as going to meet a new customer that found us at the Builder Show and then online and now is ready to do business. So should be a great trip, and we're going to go out on the boat on Sunday. We're going to see some old friends, too. We have to check in, we have to declare if we have money, how much of it, if we're bringing soil, fruits, plants. It looked like we were on the only plant coming to Caymans, it was so packed. We're going to hit up a favorite watering hole on the beach, Calico Jacks. So this is the this, port. Yeah, this is where all of our stuff comes in. So when we ship into the island, it comes here, and then they put it on. They, it takes a while to clear customs, but then they take it right over. Like walking on the moon was such a good feeling. Lying in bed and I'm staring at the ceiling. Can't wake up on Monday morning thinking about what we <laughs> We're staying right in here. Calico Jacks is right here. But we have two jobs in Salt Creek right here. You really have to get in on this right there. Right there. That's Salt Creek. We're gonna go out today. We're gonna hit three different projects. One being a project that's currently under construction. A project that we finished about six months ago and then another project that we finished six years ago. We really want to show how well the products hold up and how durable they are and, and how easily maintained. One of the challenges of working in the islands is getting the materials over here and then getting it installed by qualified installers. Our products come basically in a kit, multiple parts, drawings come with it, go together, and it doesn't require a specialized labor force to install. So we were just on island, we figured we'd take a look at yeah. stuff. See what's going on. Looks good. Turn up next. Yeah? You're having a, a good time with it? Yeah. Well, everybody talks about labor shortage and this and that. You guys seem like you got it together. Yeah. You and Chris are doing a good job, man. Really nice. So we're gonna just walk around. I wanna check stuff out. Yeah. Take a look at all your work. Here we have our Ochos Rios cellular PVC column. Our Ochos Rios is just a recess panel column. It's got about a half inch recess and typically a two inch style on the sides. One side is hinged, similar to this base we have here. So it'll come out three sides, add a little glue, apply glue, close it, nail it. That's the same thing we do with this column. Column comes out, open one side, slide it on, glue it, Couple finish nails in it, a little bit of finish work, and you're good to go. There's no measuring and cutting in the field for the carpenters. So literally, all you're doing is taking the product, sliding it into place, gluing and securing it, and you're done. All the field work is gone and put in our factory, saving you time on the job and making it a much easier install for your guys in the field. That's one of the the nicest features we have for installation in the islands or anywhere that you do not have to cut the material. We send it out, cut to size, a little bit of wiggle room in the column, cut the base and the capital cover that. All you need is glue, a nailer, and you're good to go. So when you're looking at trim work and you're comparing different products, when you see this and you see the clean lines that we're making, you can see how smooth it is, how finished it is. It's like interior trim work but it's made for the outside. So these are the details that we really push home with our clients if they're looking for that level of carpentry. This is unpainted, unfinished, right? This is completely unfinished. All these little nails will get a little putty in it and then they'll paint right over it. So this is an unfinished column and it already looks pretty darn good. When we're talking about wrapping things, this is what we're wrapping. It's either a steel column or a concrete column. 
or a wood column, you know? But I wanted you guys to get an idea of like, when you have the finished product and we're showing you our Ochos Rios columns, that's one thing, but this is where it started. And then you see the beauty. So in behind me is a house that we did six years ago. This is where we met architect Jeff Errol and who we do a ton of business with now in Naples. And this was the project that we met him on. This client here introduced us to this client after she had found us online. So it's really cool. I can't wait to show you the details of these houses. All right, so check out this ceiling. This is a one by six tongue and groove made from Versatex trim boards. It is to emulate a wood ceiling from all, of, it's been going on since the eight, you know, way in 1700s. And now we're making products out of PVC to replicate that same look. One of the benefits of ours, you can see they puttied the nail holes, but that's all the finish work they needed to do. If this was wood, you'd have knots, you'd have sanding, you'd have prepping, priming to do on all this. This is unfinished product right here. It's not been painted yet. Right here is our exterior PVC tongue and groove. And then when we come inside, you're gonna see we use the exact same product and carried it through. And you know, in talking to the homeowner, she said she loved it. She loved how fast it went up. And look at the finished product is what we sold them. They didn't have to do a bunch of work to make it look good. So this is our Hardy Boys trellis. We shipped it over here, already pre-made. The only thing that they had to do was attach the beam to the structural column with the attachment plate, and then install the beams coming across. The contractor said this was done in four and a half hours. So that's a, a real advantage of installation time and, and speed. But the product sells itself, doesn't yeah, it? It does. Like, it you does. guys have the fish, but I mean, when you see it, I, I do, I love it, I think it's great. All I'm saying is that I'm meeting a new homeowner and a new customer, and I do not want to pull we'll be up there at three, four o'clock. All right, we're just I, not gonna go. Well, dude, the traffic is Friday, dude. The traffic is bad. I'm telling you, it's a holiday weekend. We need a 30 minute window for drive time to get to this. Well, I, don't, I don't even know where it's for more than an hour. All right. and Trish, you know, it, you know, they always want to show you around, show you how to be hospitable, and just some of the nicest people we've worked for, you know. Really? Nice, down to earth, and, uh, you know, it's, it's always nice when we work with people that, one, are appreciative of our work, and, and we build these relationships with our customers, our homeowners. Claude and Trish have always been just open and... To the salt of the earth. Yeah, they just... I can't say enough good things about those people. We just finished up reviewing the house that we completed six years ago, which was one of our goals for today. And now we're on our way to meet with a new contractor and meet with a new homeowner that's going to buy our product and uh, at Cayman Structural Group. And uh, really excited to meet these guys and get you know another project on the island going. So really excited, and I think we're going to be on time.